So we're going to build an oil and gas basic production dashboard. Usually the data that is behind this analysis is coming from multiple data sources like AHS or a well header coming from a central database where you have information like latitude and longitude per well, operator and production numbers. The first thing to notice is the way Spotfire is grouping these columns based on the type of data that they have. So for example, everything numerical is here, everything categorical is here, location related and so on. To start with, I'm going to use the recommendation engine, which is a very cool new feature we had available starting in Spotfire 7, where you will have the data panel here, and you can select any column or columns from the data panel to see what is the recommended visualization from Spotfire. In this case, when selected latitude and longitude, the recommended visualization is this map chart that is going to give us the geographical information and location for our wells. Now, if we want to have more insights about this group of wells, we can use any of the columns from the data panel. For example, operator. We want to color by operator. So I'm just going to grab the column, drag and drop it in the color palette. And we will see all the different colors for the different operators. At the same time, if I want to focus on a specific operator, I can just highlight it from the legend and see how that gets highlighted on the map. Now, in addition to this, you will be able to focus on a specific set of data by using the filters that you have available from the data panel using the filter icon. So if you want to focus on a specific time range, you will be able to do so, or if you want to just uh, focus on a specific operator or group of operators, you can select that from here as well. Now let's have some more insights about this data, and let's have information about the production for a specific group of wells. So if I select a group of wells like these, I will create a details visualization that is going to provide information about the production date, historical information, and then I want to have quantity of wells, total production of gas, and total production of water. I also want to keep the quantities on the left side and the production lines and trends on the right side so we can easily identify the trends over the quantities. We can also arrange the visualizations and continue with our analysis. Now keep in mind that if you want to change any color or anything on the visualization you can just simply click on these bars for example, change the color and make the gas red and the water blue, for example. Now let's continue. We're going to use once again the recommendation engine, but in this case, we're going to select two different columns. We're going to have operator and production of gas. See the bar chart that Spotfire is suggesting, and we're going to take a look at this data. So in the x axis, we have operator information. And on the y-axis, we have total production of, of information. I'm going to sort these bars. And I'm going to use another very cool feature that we have starting in Spotify 7 to clean this bar chart a little better. You can see that we have a lot of uh, these operators down here in the tail of the distribution. So I'm just going to group all of these. And with the right click of the mouse, I'm going to call a new category other, which is going to contain all of those um, operators with less production comparing with the other ones. So now our bar chart is, is cleaner and it's uh, looking better. Now I want to continue the analysis inserting this uh, graphical table. The goal here is to be able to see actual numbers regarding the 
total of production by operator. To do so, I'm going to add a calculated value that is going to have the total of gas. We can format those numbers so they are a little easier to read. And we can also have an icon to represent our top three gas operators as a red or as a green star. So if I sort this column over here, we will able to easily see which are the top operators, the top producer operators. Now, it is also important to highlight the fact that if you want to change the way this report is looking, you have the ability to edit the custom theme. So you will be able to change everything that is color, font, type, sizes, and the way that visualization looks in general. And in addition to this, you will be able to save this as a template that is consistent with the colors that you need in your company, your logos, and so on. If you have a custom theme that you already worked on and is looking good, you can bring it and make all your DXPs consistent. In addition to this, with a couple of extra minutes working on this, you can have a dashboard that looks like this, where you have your KPIs in a text area that are gonna be dynamically changing every time that I change something in my filters or I select a different time window, for example. I also added a different map chart so when I select a specific well or group of wells, you will see the distribution of the actual ga gas and water production with an average here for those group of wells. And then you will have the possibility to drill in and out using the zoom in condition of the map. So if you need to see details about a specific group of wells, you will be able to do so. In addition to this, we have different map layers at this specific map where you can have um, extra visualizations like a WMS showing you geology information that you can turn on or off depending on what you want to share. So now we have our top producing operators here that we can actually sort to see the top three. We have the average on the water and gas distribution for the selected wells from the map. We have the historical production and quantity of wells versus production of gas and water. And we here we have gas and water production from the current year, for example. So you have data from January through August 2015 and you want to predict the rest of the year, you can use another very cool new feature, which is, which is the forecast possibility. So just by clicking forecast, we are going to be able to see the predicted production for the rest of the year. And that is pretty much how we build up an Spotfire dashboard from scratch.